The U.S. president says he will soon issue an executive order authorizing sanctions against current and former Turkish officials in response to Turkey's military offensive into northern Syria. Donald Trump says he will also stop negotiations with Ankara on a $100 billion trade deal and boost tariffs on Turkish steel to 50%. Now, he also said the 1,000 American troops leaving Syria will stay in the region to prevent ISIL making a comeback. Let's right, get more on all of this from Heidi Jo Castro. She joins us uh, live in Washington. Uh, let's start with this executive order. What more can you tell us, Heidi? Well, Barbara, we know that the White House intends to sign this executive order, in its words, soon, and that what President Trump would be ordering is the imposition of sanctions on former and current high-level Turkish officials. It would raise steel tariffs back to 50 percent and end negotiations on a trade deal with Turkey worth about $100 billion. Now, it does not, the statement itself announcing this executive order does not name the Kurdish by name. However, it does say that it's accusing the Turkish of targeting of ethnic and religious minorities is unacceptable. Now, immediately after the White House released this statement via Trump's Twitter feed, uh, De De Defense Secretary Mark Esper also released his own statement saying that Turkey has taken irresponsible actions, putting the risk to U.S. forces in southeast Syria, in northeast Syria, rather, at unacceptable levels. He goes on to say, therefore, at the president's direction, the defense, the Department of Defense is executing a deliberate withdrawal of U.S. military personnel. Now, it's interesting how he adds that, therefore, because, of course, as we all know, it was the president's decision to withdraw U.S. troops before uh, Turkey had started its ground uh, operation in northern Syria. And, in fact, Trump himself said that he had given the president of Turkey a green light before uh, Turkish troops arrived at the border. Now, Trump, in his announcement about this executive order, goes on to say that Turkey will now or in the future may be responsible for the ongoing detention of ISIL prisoners in Syria. And he announced that the U.S. would maintain a small footprint uh, with some troops stationed in southern Syria and that U.S. troops who have been ordered to withdraw from north, northern Syria will now redeploy and remain in the region to monitor the situation. Barbara. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, how more uh, of this will develop over the next uh, days or so. But just remind us how much pressure the president has been over this since he announced the U.S. troops' withdrawal uh, from northern Syria. Because even people that are normally his supporters uh, in the Senate all the way uh, have been critical of his action here. Absolutely. Arguably, Trump's biggest supporter is uh, Senator Mitch McConnell, a notable senator in the Republican Party. And he, uh, prior to the announcement of these sanctions, uh, issued a pretty grave statement saying he was concerned by the recent events in Syria and the U.S. response thus far. He warned of a broader power vacuum that will be exploited by Iran and Russia. In his words, a catastrophic outcome for the U.S. strategic interests. And it is interesting that he has been pushing back pretty consistently ever since Trump entertained the idea of removing U.S. troops in Syria back in December, leading up to this point. Meanwhile, Trump has been firing off these uh, me mixed messages because just hours prior to declaring that he would sign this executive order, he also took to Twitter saying, anyone who wants to assist Syria in protecting the Kurds is good with me, whether it is Russia, China, or Napoleon Bonaparte. Barbara. Heidi Jo Castro with the latest on that from Washington. Heidi, as always, thank you.